So Anna, how are you today? I'm okay. Thanks. Anna, why did you hurt yourself this week? I didn't. The nurses said you did. Look at the bandages on your arm. I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. I can't remember. Who else could have hurt you, Anna? We left off last week talking about your mom. I'd like to push through some of these blackouts. Now, how much of her do you remember? How much are you supposed to remember? I don't know how much I remember. There's stuff I've been told and stuff from photos and I don't know. I get confused. She was strong. She wasn't so motherly. She got jealous of me because of the attention that I got as a child. Especially from my dad. So what if she said her first word? I talk all the time! You never listen to me! What the hell was his problem anyway? Why did he have to make such a big deal about it? Why couldn't he lie and say my first word is mama and not dada? He was such a coward. Be a real man. One of my last memories of my mom before she was when she came home with a present for me. It was a beautiful teddy called Rainbow, and when you pushed her tummy, she sang. We would all lay in bed together and tell bedtime stories. She'd let me brush out her long blonde hair, and she'd play with mine. And she'd rub my back and tell me how beautiful I was. We'd all sing together. Cuddly, waddly, precious little bear. I love to rub and play with your hair. But it's our little secret. Never ever tell. The night my bear sleep well. Uh, Dylan, would you like a cup of coffee? No, God, I hate coffee. Why don't you like coffee? Don't you think coffee looks like soil? Like in the garden? This one time I was in the garden and the compost people looked exactly like coffee to me. So I ran in and I got my mom's silly coffee. I knew she wouldn't notice a difference until she offered her famous coffee to Auntie Linda. <sighs> I thought in such trouble. It was hilarious. <laughs> what? You wouldn't give your kid a clap if she did that? Falling down the stairs. <laughs> the best part is, 
We didn't even have stairs in our house. It's like when you're at school and you haven't done your homework and you're thinking of the top ten excuses of why you haven't done it and it's like, the dog ate my homework. No, no. I didn't do it because the dog died. Um, the cat ate my homework. My grandmother died. Um, the electricity went out. You never gave us that for homework. If all else fails, just start crying and say you're sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm Stacy Black. I'll be here all week, baby. I fell down the stairs three times. I fell out of trees and off jungle gyms. I even got bitten by a dog once. Damn. My mother wasn't creative. <laughs> Bell's coming. I'm Dr. Greenberg. I'm here to help you. Oh, thank you. Did the others tell you? My mom named me Belle because it means beautiful. She thought I was very beautiful. Oh, yes. What else did your mother tell you? Oh, loads. My mom was strong. She used to march for women's rights. She was a hero. But she would leave me at home sometimes. But then a nanny would come over and she would make my medicine taste nice. And she had a big bag made out of carpet that could carry anything she wanted it to. One time, she took us to the park, and we jumped into a chalk painting with the chimney sweeper named Bert. We rode very good around horses. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Even now the sound of it is something quite atrocious. I've heard that story before, Belle. It's called Mary Poppins. Oh, did I tell you already? No, Belle. But is this how you know your mommy loved you? When she wasn't angry at me, she bought me nice things. Did she buy you toys? Yes, all the time. Do you still have toys? More than all the other boys and girls. Where do you get the toys? Belle, when you take toys from shops, do you pay for them? Belle, if you take something from a shop and you don't pay for it, it's called stealing. My mom said that I deserve anything I want. What else did your mother tell you? She told me that I was dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty! One time, when I was home alone again, and a boy flew into my window. He convinced me to go with him, even though I didn't want to leave my mommy. Then we flew far, far away, and we got to see pirates and mermaids and red engines. I can show you how to fly, but you have to believe in fairies. Some people don't believe in them, like the others. They don't believe in fairies. Super califragilistic as we all adocious. My father gave me a nose split. <laughs> I hate it when she sings, when she talks such crap. If you're a real doctor, you should be able to get rid of her, right? Do it now, you quack. I'm tired of her play-play and pretend. Then one day I learned a word that saved my aching nose. The biggest word you've ever heard, and this is how it goes. did you hurt yourself this week? No. The nurses said you did. Look at the bandages on your arm. I broke a cup. So did you think you had to hurt yourself? Why did you think you had to hurt yourself? Because bad, bad, dirty, dirty girls have to be punished. Dylan? Belle? Anna? Are you okay? <clears throat> I have a headache. Do you often get headaches? Yeah. It's weird. I never used to get sick except for these headaches. Sometimes they get so bad that they make me forget. I remember one time I woke up in the hospital with a broken arm, and I just remember my head was sore while I was looking down at my cast. And then I woke up at home and my head was sore, but the cast was gone. I don't know why it happens, but it makes me really scared, though. Cuddly, wuddly, precious little bear, I love to rub and play with your hair. But it's our little secret. Never, ever tell. Good night, my bear. Sleep well. Anna? Anna, can you hear me? Tell me more about your mom. I'd like to break through these blackouts. I, I don't know why. But I think my mom was a very sad lady. One day I was waiting for her in my bedroom. I think I was waiting for her to come read to Rainbow and I. 
but she never came and I fell asleep. When I woke up, it, it was still dark. And I went to look for her because she never missed a bedtime story. She was in the bath. The water was so cold. She was so cold. She looked blue and very, very sad. She must have fallen asleep in the bath. I just laid on the floor next to her and so. Yes, what happened then? A whole lot later, a bunch of people rushed in, and they were screaming and crying, and somebody came and carried me away, but I don't know. My head was too sore. She left me a note. Do you remember what it said? Are you going to read it to me? I will. Pick me, pick me. And now, for one night and one night only, Miss Stacy Black. Yes, I'll be available after the show for autographs. <clears throat> Here goes. Dear Anna. Ooh, how original. These last few years have been unbearable. Tell me about it. It's like living in a dark, crowded room. And Frank. Since your father left, I've been empty and had nothing to live for. <clears throat> you probably don't understand this now, but maybe one day you will. Mom. And now for my favorite part. Yes, yes I, I forgive, forgive you. you. Can you get rid of her too? I hate that drama queen. This isn't a performance, and it definitely does not have a happy ending. That coward better rot in hell for leaving my mom. Even though they all thought she was dead, the prince kissed her lips, and she woke up, and they lived happily ever after. Anna, do you understand that none of your mother's actions were any of your fault? You were a child. Once you can understand that, we can make a lot of progress here. And how do I do that? I want you to express yourself in healthy ways. What are healthy ways? The nurses tell me that you do nothing all day. That you just stand around and stare at the garden. I want you to express yourself. How? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to start sleeping around? Start taking drugs? Is that what people like me are supposed to do? I can paint pretty pictures. I can laugh about it. I can scream and shout about it. I can pretend like everything's perfect and we'll be okay. Or I can just forgive everyone. My mom, my dad, myself. Or just give up and kill myself. What do you want me to do? Anna, well, those are all very natural thoughts and feelings, but unfortunately our time is up. <laughs> Patient file 217, Anna Lee Rowe, 17 January 2012, session 3. The patient presents with dissociative identity disorder as a response to severe childhood trauma and reoccurring physical and sexual abuse by mother. Four identifiable personalities, Anna, Dylan, Stacy Black, and Bell. Personality Bell responsible for self-mutilation, therapeutic goal, integration of personalities, and resolution of trauma.